Hello everybody and welcome back to EU4 on Array of Nations, the series where we look at countries often overlooked in favor of more popular choices. Today's nation of choice is Saxe-Lundberg. Now, Saxe-Lundberg is kind of a road bump for most nations in Germany. I mean, you know, in, in my game as Hanover, they were a road bump. You know, if you ever play as Brandenburg, they're a road bump. In my game as Pomerania, they're a road bump. However, this nation actually has some really solid ideas, as pointed out by one of you guys in the comments section. They get stability cost minus 15%, siege ability plus 10%, along with land fire damage once you finish up their ideas by 10%. Cost to fabricate claims minus 20%, which is really nice, especially in the HRE. 15% state maintenance cost, minus 7.5 province war score cost, improved relations plus 30%, church power, clergy loyalty equilibrium, so gearing you towards playing as Protestant, monthly autonomy change by 0.05, and providential trade modifier by 10%. So overall, really solid ideas, especially for an OPM in Northern Germany. So what is our plan as Saxe Lundberg today? We're going to try and stack siege ability as much as possible to see if we can't make the best siege army in the entire game. So that means we're going to be taking espionage, offensive, and innovative ideas, all with additional siege ability. We're also going to be shooting for the most professional army, which stacks siege ability even more. I'm thinking we're also going to conquer all of Denmark, starting game Denmark, so 1444, all their stuff right here, and we are going to try and win the Protestant League War. Now, before we get into this video, I do want to encourage you guys to hit that like button, and if you're new here, go ahead, subscribe to my channel as I do make E4 content pretty regularly. And if you're already subscribed to my channel and would like to help out my channel grow even more, I also have memberships for those who want access to additional content such as member only live streams, posts, badges that are seen in the comments section and in my live streams, and also unique roles in my Discord. Now without further ado, let's get into it as Saxlenberg. All right, here we are. As the mighty Saxonberg with all four of our troops, dwarfed by Lundberg, Hamburg, and Lubeck's troops here. Uh, we're going to delete this horse right away because they're way too expensive. And OPM start out with horses all the time and they're too expensive. We're going to rival Hamburg and Lundberg here because they rivaled us. Out of all the estate privileges that are the most important for any nation really in Germany, you got to make sure you do the clergy religious diplomats one. If you don't do that one, you're going to have a really hard time expanding the HRE. Make a ruler general. He's really good at running away. Speaking of our ruler, he's about average. He's a 233. He's an inspiring leader and he's benevolent, so that's nice, but he's 60 years old. The downside to this guy is his heir, who's a 011, uh, who's five years old. So we're probably going to be plunged into a regency at any given point at the start here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to Royal Mary Austria. We need to make sure that we secure that alliance. We're also going to Royal Mary Anhalt here because they are of our of our dynasty and if their ruler dies who's 54 years old we actually get them under a PU. I'm also I also got pretty lucky here and we do have our um, Diplo rep guy. I'm also going to send my I have a free merchant. I'm going to send them here to transfer trade power in the Vienne trade node and uh, we have one here and we're going to set both of them to establish communities for the improved relations. Oh, and unfortunate for Austria, the Pope actually rivaled them. But I was going to say, I'm actually going to uh, scornfully insult the Ottomans here. That's going to boost up our relations with Austria by quite a bit here. Oh, yeah, and I, I could hire the free company. I forgot about that. Let's do that. That's going to make Austria like our army a bit more. Okay, and we can secure our alliance with Austria. That took quite a bit of time. And I'm also going to fire this Diplo rep guy because he's too expensive. We can also ally the nation of Volgast, which is actually pretty nice, so we'll do that. All right, and we did get Miltek 4, which does put us over Lundberg and both of their allies. I'm thinking we're going to do a conquest war right now. We're going to call on both Anhalt and Ansbach into this war. We're going to try and bum rush into Lundberg, um, and then we'll come back for Mecklenburg in a minute. And I should get enough favors with, during that time to call on Volgas to kind of deal with Mecklenburg. And it looks like Saxony's taking advantage of the situation as they're going, they're diving in on Magdeburg. So we should be able to get them out of here very soon. Actually, we could get them out of here right now after Anhal occupied that province. And now this war is over, so we're, we are going to go ahead full annex Lundberg. Let's see if we can't do Mecklenburg. That's going to be a lot of people that hate us. So <laughs> we're just going to do Lundberg for right now. Um, as for Mecklenburg, I'm going to make them break their alliance with the Teutons. 
give us all their money and we will humiliate them and get war reps from them and then we'll come back to beat them up later now as for Lundberg, yeah as I mentioned earlier we're gonna fully annex them take all their money and this area is part of our capital state so we can actually lower the autonomy right away which I want to do so we make more money and get more troops out of these provinces our average ruler did just die our queen however is way better than this guy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this regency until we can't anymore and I guess Volgas needs our help against just Stettin. So they're going to form Pomerania in a second here once we win this war. And Burgundy has died and they decided to go under Naples. Alright, that war's over, so watch as we see Pomerania form, right? There we go, Pomerania. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack Verden here. Uh, we will call him Pomerania. So then that way, uh, so then that way they could deal with Mecklenburg, who's now getting invaded by Lubeck. For our tier 2 government reform, I'm going to go with this unique German one, which gives us cheaper advisors, monthly favor growth, oh, and also a extra privilege for our nobility. Uh, I like that monthly favor growth especially because that's going to help us out with Austria, where if we get enough favors, we might be able to attack Denmark. Okay, and out of this war, we're going to full annex for Den, and I'm thinking we're going to vassalize Oldenburg. And now we actually have a coastline, so we're not looking too bad. However, Lubeck did also full annex uh, my boy Mecklenburg up here. We will rival Gosler, who did rival us, and we will rival uh, Lubeck, since they are really the only other logical rival. And what we're going to do right now is our A. I I mean, it's not super high, but we are going to take a break from expanding here and uh, just improve relations with everybody. Oh, our air died. Yes, it's actually really good. The 011 is gone, and we, he got replaced by a 235. Oh, that is so much better. So much better. And now we're no longer in that regency. But, I mean, you know, I really like the admin from our queen. She was pretty good, actually. And Denmark over here is like, allied everybody that could invade. Oh, they don't like Lubeck anymore. Well, this could actually be really good for us. What was very unfortunate for us, too, is uh, Denmark actually got Poland. And of course, Poland is a beast. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be choosing espionage first because the AE uh, impact minus 20% is going to be nice. And we get that siege ability pretty fast, actually. We're going to focus on Diplo so we can kind of rush that down also. Also, Lubeck has some rebels, so now is the perfect time to actually attack Lubeck. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to call on all of our allies into this war. Even though we're at war with Lubeck, they're not our main target. We're actually going to annex one, if not both of these guys in this war. Probably just one of them. And uh, we might release out Mecklenburg. So I'm thinking with Hamburg here, uh, I'm just going to humiliate them, war reps, money, gets them out of this war, and we'll actually annex Bremen here. Ooh, Lubeck. That's horrible, dude. <laughs> My poor ally of Pomerania. All right, uh, that's not good. We're also going to hire the free Swiss Guard as an additional mercenary army. And you know what? We'll... Yeah, we'll just hire them. That'll give us enough troops to beat up on Lubeck's army. Actually, we'll go for Bremen's army first. And our ruler is a really good general. I'm going to put him in charge. All right, let's fight this battle. We should be able to win this. Yes, pretty easily, actually. Once our army kind of recuperates, we're going to go straight for Lubeck's army. Let's go, go, go. Oh, they took it. We can actually full annex Bremen now. Lubeck's going to be fighting their former allies' rebels. Perfect, because we're going to just sweep right in here. Yeah, we did just stack wipe their entire army. Yes. And Lubeck has officially unconditionally surrendered to us. So we can kind of do whatever. So we're going to give these provinces back to Pomerania. Because, I mean, they were our friend. And I will take these three provinces for myself, actually. Because out of a coalition, it would actually just be the nations that we just got done fighting. So let's go ahead and do that. Take all of Lubeck's money. Uh, have them pay war reparations to us. And not too shabby. Alright, Tier 3 government reform... We're going to go with uh, centralized bureaucracy. For our age ability, we're going to go with justified wars so we get even more AE impact, minus 10%. That's going to stack up very well with espionage ideas when we get the minus 20. All right, and let's embrace the Renaissance. And after doing that, we can rival a few other nations. We're going to go ahead, rival uh, Brunswick, because at some point we're going to be invading them. All right, let's re-ally Pomerania. Also, for all you Gotland fans, Gotland has actually expanded into Livonian order. Russia's looking pretty strong this game. And Sweden is being supported by everybody, including Hungary, Austria, England, and Novgorod. Novgorod probably won't really do too much, but... Uh, Austria-Hungary, they could really mess up Denmark. 
I think the only thing that's preventing Denmark from getting attacked is they're allied to Poland right now. Also, Sweden was just let go by Denmark. Denmark didn't even put up a fight. They just let him go, and they immediately rivaled me. Okay, Sweden. I see where we stand. Oh, and Denmark's immediately attacking Sweden to reunify with them. Okay, that's actually a pretty smart move by Denmark. Let them go so they don't have any allies, and then immediately attack them. Oh! Uh, this is not good for Austria. Uh, Poland's about to get hungry. So, oh man, Poland's about to be a freaking superpower this game. Okay, so <laughs> Hungary was actually really strong this game. Uh, like in terms of their territorial conquest is now under a PU with Poland. And Bohemia decided to jump on Hungary uh, for this province here, Pozozny. And now they're fighting a offensive war against Poland, who's more than likely going to take a bunch of land. And I guess Denmark didn't win their war, or they did, and they just didn't PU Sweden. Our truce with Lubeck is over. Uh, Sweden actually allied Lubeck. Uh, we're going to go ahead, go to war against them. Uh, we're going to try and annex Hamburg out of this war, and um, yeah, I, th I think we should be good. Also, Dith Martian is... <laughs> they're making plays. They allied both France and Denmark. Alright, Sweden is proving to be a absolute just pain this war i mean they're down to 11k troops i mean there's that at least but uh man they're just they're wiping the floors with both me and my allies i'm also going to take the admin tech here and as i mentioned earlier we're going to go offensive ideas let's go ahead do this twice it's going to give us our state maintenance stuff and uh we're going to get extra shock out of our general when we recruit new ones Finally, we stack up Sweden's army. They're done. Get out of here, please. Oh my god, they don't want to get out of this war. I'm at least going to fire my Swiss company. They're too expensive to maintain. Uh, Hamburg, can I full annex you? I can. It's going to be like no A. What if Lubeck, I were to take both of these? Oh, I could annex both of these. I'll just wait until I can annex both of those nations. Actually, I'll just full annex Hamburg right now so I can get a little bit of extra money. Money's always nice, especially when you got loans. You have seven loans that you have to pay off. All right, and we could full annex Lubeck. Trade League is gone. For our tier four government reform, we're going to go with curtail clerical privileges because I like the admin tech cost minus 10%, which is really nice. I, I actually wonder if I can ally Poland. I could Royal Marry them. Might actually be a possibility. If I can, that'd be great. All right, we can finally ally Poland. That only took forever. Uh, we're just going to have a diplomat just pretty much sit here for like the rest of the game, just currying favors to have them break alliances with people I want to attack. Um, we're going to go ahead and attack Brunswick. We'll annex them. Our AE is like pretty much non-existent. This war shouldn't be too bad, though we'll, we will see actually as we fight this war. And Munster is actually going to offer us their army. I'll take that actually. That seems like a good... Actually, a really good investment. Also, Thuringia is uh, fighting Saxony for their independence, so this is perfectly timed. I didn't even mean to time it up like this, but uh, it's working out that way. Alright, as for Saxony, I'm actually going to make them release out Magdeburg here. Uh, with the intention of later conquering them. And as for Brunswick, of course, we're just going to go ahead full annex them. That's going to be like barely any AE. Really not bad at all. And when we hit admin tech 10, if I really wanted to, I could actually form the nation of Hanover, but we're not going to do that. We're going to say a Saxonberg, and we're going to go on to conquer Denmark. Also, I didn't realize Norway's independent, so let's go ahead and rival Norway, and we will rival uh, Thuringia, who did rival us. All right, we're going to start our next war here. This time, we are going to be attacking Brandenburg. We're going to call in Poland and Pomerania to help us out in this war. It's going to break Poland's alliance with Denmark, which is awesome absolutely awesome so uh let's go ahead and do this all right and out of this war we're gonna take these two provinces from uh brandenburg and take two from denmark so we're gonna so this allows us to start expanding into uh denmark's main lands all right while we are waiting for our truce with denmark to end in about a year i'm gonna do a quick pit stop here in magdeburg we're gonna vassalize these guys and we will also drop on halt after our war against uh, Denmark here. Let's go ahead, call on all of our friendos. We're gonna, but before we do that, I'm gonna make sure I set all their provinces as provinces of interest. So let's go ahead and attack Denmark. 
Oh, and I, you know what? I'll also ask uh, Pomerania to prepare for war. This way we could use their navy a little bit here too. All right, with Brandenburg, I'm just going to give Pomerania these two provinces and I'm going to take all their money. Uh, and we will also do war reps, of course. Also, Protestant has uh, occurred in Geneva. So, kind of a strange place, but uh, yeah, we'll, we will be flopping the, or flipping the Protestant probably after this war. All right, we can finally take the Upper Peninsula of Denmark. Take all that. Now our name is gone vertical. <laughs> also, we are going to immediately flop Prop. We're immediately going to flop over to Protestant, and we will rival Brandenburg. Also, Poland reached Admin Tech 10 and is now the Commonwealth. That was pretty fast. I didn't expect that that fast. Also, we got to be unlucky as uh, Norway actually sniped the last Protestant uh, center before us. So we actually had to convert all of our provinces to Protestant. I think we're also going to just declare our golden era right now. Built up a little bit of a navy here. I'm going to call on all my allies. Brandenburg's tired of getting beat up all the time. So they're not going to join. Um, but... We're going to have naval super, uh, superiority over Denmark, and I'm going to see if I can't take the majority of their country this time. I'm really hoping so. I, I know AE really doesn't matter because I really don't have much AE to begin with, so let's go ahead and attack them. Right, we're going to take something like this, take the island of Bornholm, and um, yeah, 98 war score. Not too bad. We're going to suffer 98 AE, which we're going to get a little bit of a coalition. Really not the worst, though. And as I mentioned earlier, third idea group, we're going innovative. Innovative paired up with offensive gives us an additional 10% siege and also guaranteed uh, siege pip for our generals. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to attack Thuringia. We're going to full annex Gosser in this war. We're not going to take anything from Thuringia. I really don't care about them too much. Um, so, there we go. So far, all of our sieges are like... The siege phase is only 14 days. That's crazy. These sieges are going by so fast. All right, so we got Gosler. Um, we're, again, as I mentioned earlier, we're just gonna take money from Thuringia. I don't really want anything here from them. All right, here we go. War against Denmark again. We're gonna call on Austria. I think Pomerania. Yeah, we'll call on Pomerania. I'm not going to call on Commonwealth because they actually want land over here. Um, so I'm, they're more likely going to block me out there. So we're just going to call on Austria and Pomerania. Okay, and uh, we're going to embrace Printing Press. Ooh, and we get the international book market. The paper is now going to be produced in the province of Lubeck. That is awesome. And we're in great power too. Now that's nice. Also going to get Commonwealth to break their alliance with Pomerania. And I too shall break my alliance with Pomerania. We're going to turn our back on them. And Pomerania is actually invading, uh, or Bohemia is invading Pomerania. That's unfortunate. Alright, I think it's time we uh, save the Pomeranians here. We're going to call in Commonwealth. <clears throat> Call on the Commonwealth and basically try to break apart Bohemia as much as possible. Alright, that's war with uh, Bohemia. We're going to help out Brandenburg. We're going to give them a bunch of the provinces back. And we're going to release out uh, Opal and Moravia. Okay, and for whatever reason, Magdeburg's been refusing to um, take a claim on Anhalt. So I re-allied them and we're just going to vassalize these guys. The Pomerania is over. We're going to immediately attack these guys. We do still have a royal marriage with them, but uh, we're, we're going to vassalize these guys. Alright, then we can easily vassalize Pomerania. And of course, they're going to have claims all over uh, Brandenburg here. Alright, Magdeburg is now part of our country, and we have to convert some of the provinces. Right, we've built our second army now. Uh, so now we're going to have 60k troops, which makes us have like the largest army in the HRE outside of Austria. Alright, we got uh, 
Austria to break their alliance with Brandenburg. We're going to go ahead and attack them with a reconquest uh, for our boy Pomerania. I'm thinking we're going to do something like this, leaving Berlin. I'm assuming... I'm assuming Bohemia is probably going to pounce on Brandenburg. And sure enough, Bohemia is going in on Brandenburg, as to be expected. Which works out perfect for me. And we did just finish up our idea, so now we get an extra 10% land fire damage. Alright, let's, um... Bohemia immediately took... Oh, I have to wait for my truce, of course. In like, just a couple months here. Our ruler died and we got put into a consul regency, but, uh... Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and attack Bohemia or Berlin. Alright, Pomerania, just give me the province. No hard feelings. Or not Pomerania, Bohemia. And also the leagues have formed. We're going to join the Protestant side. That's our goal. We have to try and make the Protestant side win. Oh, we can ally France because they joined the Protestant League. Yes, please. Oh no, Norway. Why would you do this? Who joined? Uh, Norway, why would you do this? This is horrible timing. I mean, at least we're, com we're coming through these sieges so fast. Ooh, our army got caught out of position. Please. Oh, thank God. Uh, tier 7 government reform. We're just going to go for the cheaper advisors. And yeah, we're probably going to get stacked. No, we're not going to get stacked by... Oh, another lucky battle. Fortunately for Norway, it was a horrible time to do this, dude. Because Austria has 68k troops. France has 65, but I'm assuming they probably have a decent amount of these guys in the New World right now. I mean, at least I'm able to siege this stuff down so fast, but still. I can only do so much. Norway, my guy. Me and France are full occupied. Just peace out. This war's lost. Oh, there goes France. Uh, France had to give up a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna peace out. I'm gonna be part of this peace deal. Alright, here we go. So, I had to... I had to give Altmark to Saxony. Sax, I also released out Brandenburg and Oldenburg, apparently. And Catholic is now the official faith. Oh, they re oh I didn't realize they released them like that. Now, why would they Saxon get all marked? They didn't even have a core here. That makes no sense. Thank you, Norway. Thank you for making my game harder. Alright, at least I can ally Oldenburg and vassalize them. Alright, I'm thinking we're going to do something like this on Brandenburg. Alright, we finished off Aristo, so now we have extra leader siege, and we can also get the cap combat ability and production efficiency with innovative ideas. Actually, that's a pretty nice policy. I didn't know it was in here. 20% production. Oh, and Hungary, Commonwealth. We're going to beat down on Bohemia and on Saxony, especially Bohemia. They really ticked me off during that Protestant War, so let's take them down. Alright, we're going to make Bohemia... Give a couple provinces to Hungary and uh, release out Lusatia. Saxony, give me Altmark back. Also... I'll go Ray. We'll break you apart too. Just release out all three nations that we can do. Alright, I'm gonna make Saxony give us all Mart back. I'm gonna make them become Protestant and I'm gonna pillage their capital. The Chairman's Revenge Tour right now. Alright, Truce with Brandenburg is up. We're just gonna go ahead and attack them and full annex them. Also, uh, Commonwealth's gotten Holland as a PU partner. And, uh, they're integrating them, so we're gonna have Polish, uh, Netherlands. But, uh, 
that's going to conclude it for today's episode of Underrated Nations. The nation that we were able to get our siege ability all the way up to 64%. Obviously, we could probably get it higher if I were to play this even longer and get 100% army professionalism. Uh, we could probably get this up to like 80 or even 90% siege ability as the nation of Saxonburg, which is really, really nice. This overall, this one province miner is has some really solid ideas and you know again they can they can form Hanover if you want to do that they could form reform Saxony if you kill them off and wanted to reform them or even become Germany but honestly the Saxonberger ideas are or the Saxonberg ideas are honestly really good overall again with the cost to fabricate claims pairs that cost to fabricate claims minus 20% the province war score costs, improved relations, church power, autonomy, providential trade power, siege ability, and land fire damage being like the big ones in those ideas. So really only like two duds, maybe three dud ideas. And we were able to successfully complete our goal of conquering all of, of 1444 Denmark. And we even conquered more than just that. We conquered pretty much all of southern Sweden. And we did conquer like most of northern Germany, at least like we're gonna look at regions like half, like a little bit over half of northern Germany. However, we, because we were in a regency and we weren't in control of the Protestant League war and when it started or anything like that, Norway plunged us into that war and unfortunately we weren't able to complete our goal of actually winning the, the Protestant League war. But that's okay. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. In this case, Norway made us lose and made us lose some land that we had to recuper, uh, recuperate at the end here. So, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys give this nation a try. Again, I don't, I don't think anybody's released out a video on them yet. And if you guys have made it this far into the video and are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And Again, if you want to help support the channel even more and help it grow even faster, uh, then do consider becoming a member to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Chairman out.